Bigsby behind the back to Finney Smith. And he throws it away. Porter Jr. Look out. Playmake. Barton's got it. To Porter. Denver can pull to within two here. Porter Jr. Into the paint. Foul. Counted. Nice D there from Jokic. Didn't have to jump as he did. Porter Jr. Deflected. Jokic is on the run. Over to Porter. Got it. Extended, Jokic sling it over to Porter. It's for a shot. Uh, one of my dark horse kicks. I like what John Morant did in the playoffs last year. They actually went into Utah, remember? Bad pass. Oh, Porter got it back. Porter underneath. Game along with P.J. Dozier. Porter steps out. He's had some highlight. So, so long has had the highlight this dunks. Is Snapped the porter, two pointer on the way. Iverson, bothered by Lose. I just shot my shot at this little dot. I'm trying to create. What's up, YouTube? It's Jordan. I'm back in another video. It comes out a big body bagger to come in this way. Two video. Now, first things first, make sure you like and subscribe over to 5K. You know what I'm saying? Today, I'm the build down on low corner. I'm coming at y'all with this Michael Porter Jr. build video. Yes, sir. This was requested a while back, and here it is today. I thought it would be an interesting build to make on current gen. And yes, it was an interesting build to make on current gen. It was definitely a difficult build to make as well. So, I needed to sacrifice some attributes but i made it as accurate as possible for a current gen build so i hope y'all appreciate it make sure like comment subscribe you know comment any build you want because i am still cranking out these videos every day except for saturdays and sundays you know and then also i am done with my uh first video for my second channel well at least with the recording i just need to edit a little bit so look be on the lookout for that you know make sure you subscribe to my second channel it is linked on my main page so yeah without further ado Let's get right into the pie charts that I use for this Michael Porter Jr. Bill video. All right, so you see, I already have the logistic information, small forward, right handed, yada yada, you know, that's the basic stuff. But for the pie chart, I went with the finishing and shooting pie chart, but more finishing than shooting, just because I feel like that really captures Michael Porter Jr. He's kind of liable on defense, you know, he's not really that good, but he is, is an offensive masterpiece. Like that man is on time. And now for physical profile, I went with the balanced pie chart because he is a do it all type of player. He's fast, strong, and can jump out the gym, obviously. So with this build, you'll have contact dunks. You won't be tall enough to have big man contact dunks, but you'll have a high standing dunk, but you will have regular pro contact dunks. So, you know, don't worry about that. You're gonna be able to have the dunk ones that you would normally have. In fact, I dunk on somebody in this video, which you will see later. And on top of that, you'll be able to shoot and you'll be able to iso ball, you know, dribble and stuff. Your ball handling is gonna be a little bit low though, in comparison to like how you would think a iso dribbler is but that's just because i try to make it as accurate as possible even to height so mpj is 610 or left and you'll see what i do with the height in a little bit but you see with the badge spread you know you're not going to have any defensive badges you're just going to have that one but i did put the attributes there just so you have defensive playing ability but you know obviously the smarter thing would be to take off from steel and put those points elsewhere to get more badges since the steel doesn't really give me much but i did want to at least put someone there to capture the fact that mpj can steal the ball but if you really don't care about steals just leave all your points on blocking and then add them you know elsewhere either shooting or finishing just so you get more badges in those categories you know because the steal is already too low for you to really make that much of a difference but it's up to you at the end of the day now for the height i went with six foot nine instead of six ten just so i wouldn't lose too many ball handling and speed attributes and the weight you see i drop it down to get that higher speed and i leave it at 214 pounds and i put the wingspan up just a little bit just so i can get that higher driving dunk and blocking just so that i'm able to get contact dunks at 99 and you see with the takeover i go with slashing takeover and the shades of it is really going to surprise you when you see it 
I got shades of LeBron James, which is kind of crazy because I know MPJ was getting a lot of LeBron comparisons. You know, same with Zion. Zion was getting LeBron comparisons in terms of hype, you know. So I think that means I did a pretty decent job with this build. So like, comment, and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? But you see the badge, but at least offensively is very balanced. You know, that one defensive badge is kind of lacking, obviously. So like I said earlier, if you would like to put more of those defensive points toward the offensive trait and get more badges there, then that is probably the way to go. You know, it'll definitely be put to better use. But with this build, since you have the attributes, you can still dominate on defense. You know, I had no trouble playing defense on this build. You know, I could play one through five for the most part. And on top of that, I was very dominant in the post and on the offensive side. You know, not only could I dribble and iso ball if I wanted to, I could hit double moves, get to the rim and be explosive because of that finishing attribute. You know, on top of that, I could hit step backs if I wanted to, post fades if I wanted to. It was just easy easy to matriculate all my offensive skills into the game you know and once you get boosts and stuff you'll have higher ratings so i want you to keep all that in mind because once you get boosted in 99 your mid-range and three will be like 80 ish or right around that 80 point so not only will you be six foot nine and on top of that your ball handling will be in the 70s so you'll be six nine with 70 plus ball handling 80 ish shooting and then contact dunks so what more can you ask for me you know like a lot of these builds are definitely for grinders you know if you want to grind it out this build can definitely be just different like a masterpiece but once again it's up to you and how much time you put into the game because if you're not putting that much time into the game then obviously you're not going to hit 99 and reach the full potential you know but 2k23 is also on the way so i wouldn't expect anybody to be grinding in the last month it's august you know 2k comes out literally in a month and a couple days you know in like six weeks or five weeks so we're all ready for that obviously now michael porter in real life he definitely has a lot of potential like like he can easily drop 30 points and then the next night they'll just drop 10 like he's very streaky wishy-washy but he makes up for what he's lacking and and like consistency with just his explosiveness and his impact on the court obviously he's been hurt for the past you know for the past year but i feel like he'll be able to bounce back and do what he has to do you know we just have to see where you know it takes him and where these next years take him because i definitely think that he is an all-star caliber player you know i just feel like he definitely has the potential to rise up and be the missing piece that the nuggets need to win a championship you know but we'll see how it all turns out for him you know i'm wishing the best for him but we'll see but yeah that's pretty much the end of the video y'all make sure you like comment subscribe we're on the road to 5k you know what i'm saying comment any build that y'all want and i will eventually get to them but until then enjoy that contact dunk i'm out peace